and welcome to AW Tech Tips. My name is Christy Spurlock and today we're going to teach you how to create a native background using an Ascender 48 4K PL. It's important to first understand what the term native background means. The term native refers to native resolution. So whether or not you're going to use a live input, a fill color, or a still image into that layer, it will be displayed as one-to-one, -one, which means not scaled. Background refers to the very back layer, which means it will be seen behind all the other layers in the ascender. The ascender then takes what's called frames to paint the rest of your native background. One frame to one output, which means it's important to make sure the content loaded into the frame is the content that you wish to see on that particular screen. Let's go ahead and get started. First step is to create your image the size of your final output resolution. For this tutorial, my screen setup is a 2x1 at 3840 by 1080 So here we have a picture of a beach made at 3840 by 1080 I need to cut my image in half in order to assign it to my frames. I can do that in Photoshop or an Analog Way screen frame cutter tool. I'm going to load my image in here. choose the parameters that I need, click refresh, and save my image. Now I have my image split accordingly. If you don't have content made to the right specifications, you can utilize the image settings here to scale the image appropriately. You can find Analog Way's screen frame cutter tool on our website. Now that I have my image ready, I need to load my two images into the ascender. Here on the WebRCS, I want to click on the Setup tab, and then Library. Here in the library, I'm going to choose a slot and upload my first image. And now the second. Now both my images are loaded. Next step is to activate the use of frame slots for native background. I do that by clicking on the pre-config tab and then click on the frame slots I want to use. To use live video in your native background, you would need to activate that input for native use. Now I'm going to click on the logos tab and that is where I will assign my image pieces to the frame slots I have activated. Once I have my image assigned to a frame slot, I can now create my native background sets. Click on the pre-config tab, native background tab, and here we see that we can assign our frames or logos to up to eight sets. We are going to use screen two, set one. We have completed our native background setup and now we can click on the live tab to display our native background. I'm going to click the N and choose the set I want to see here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you later here on AW Tech Tips.